Hello everyone and welcome back to Start Being Happy, the channel about joy through self-love and today's topic is shame. Not a very fun one but I'm raising it because so many people I've spoken to this week have been ashamed of their need for emotional well-being support or ashamed of their marriage or relationship breaking down or ashamed that they've lost their job or they're not happy in it. They feel like it's a failure and so they, they're, not, they're feeling stuck and not wanting to move because of what the world out there is going to think about them. And I just wanted to say that's our ego. Please don't let that get in the way of making life-giving decisions, you know, assuming that we've done the work to figure out how we contributed to the breakdown of a job or our marriage or relationship then leaving is an act of self-love. Leaving a relationship where you don't feel valued and cared for, that's supporting your own well-being. And yes, it's painful. Yes, it's uncomfortable. And yes, some people may judge you, but making choices that support your highest good, that's the most important thing. And again, I'm not talking from a a lofty pedestal. I remember, you know, my first, I've had a couple of episodes of very poor mental health and the first one I was so ashamed. I didn't get help for, for months and I should have, but you know, I was looking at my mother and my aunts, all of whom had multiple kids and they were successful businesswomen or doctors. And I thought they're, they're managing the juggle. Why can't I? I was, there was this deep sense of inadequacy, but gee, I wish I'd gotten help sooner. It would have made such a difference to my gorgeous little son you know he wouldn't have had such an anxious mother and I missed out on so much pleasure and joy I was so caught up in the fear of making sure that everything was perfect for him that I didn't relax into it and and as a result you know we both missed out so much again when my sister died I had to have a breakdown before I got the help that I needed and so the reason that I'm bringing all this up is that sometimes yes people may judge you people may think you know, that's not the right decision. That doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is you and how you're feeling and what you need. And again, it's just, our sense of shame is just our ego, our monkey mind playing havoc with us saying, life should be like this, life should be like that. But there's no one size fits all. Sometimes relationships reach the end of the road. We've both learnt and grown as much as we can and it's time to move on. The same with jobs, the same with our emotional health. Sometimes it's challenged and nothing's wrong with getting help. It's human nature that sometimes we need support. Um, so next time you see shame or judgment raise its ugly little head, shove it in a drawer and make the choices and the decisions that are life affirming for you. Try and block out the outdoor noise and just look to what you need the most to keep you happy and have the courage to make that step regardless of what anyone else thinks. Um, love to you all and have a great week. Bye.